Hey, so let's learn a little bit more about how you can view things in your model with the display tool. Display looks like a pair of glasses because it's how you see things in your model. So click on display right below scenes. This is cool, man, because this does a lot of stuff. The first thing I want you to know about the display tools properties is hidden geometry. Hidden geometry is all of the changes of directions of the objects that you don't necessarily see, especially on cylinders. So if you click on the hidden geometry, don't worry about the stuff I'm not showing you. You're probably not going to need it. Click on the hidden geometry and enable hidden geometry. And you will all of a sudden see all of these lines, these dotted lines around your environment and on the objects that weren't there before. Well, what it's showing you is the changes in direction and all of the little parts and pieces of how it made things like this ring. This ring is not round. It's just a series of flat little rectangles that are changing their position and their angle around the environment to make it look like it's rounded. Spheres, spheres aren't rounded. They're just changes of direction of all of these different shapes. On the very outside, right in the middle is like squares. And as you get closer to the edges of it, they turn into trapezoids, smaller on one side than the other side, which is longer all the way down to the very ends here with triangles, long trapezoids down into triangles. It's pretty cool. Now I'm inside this group. So hidden geometry allows you to see things in your environment that you don't see if you don't enable it. And that means that if you can see it, you can manipulate it. So now, unlike before, I could take this sphere with the push pull tool and I could pull out individual sections of this sphere that I couldn't do before because it wasn't listed as or it wasn't seen as something that I was able to edit. So you can make these dandelion shapes. You can make all sorts of like porcupines, spikes and quills coming out of this thing that you couldn't do before when it was a sphere, for instance. So for example, if I disable hidden geometry after I've done that, now I don't see those interconnected sections that make the sphere. I just see the roundness of the sphere. Well, now it looks like these things are popping out of here and people are going to be like, how'd you make that thing? Because when I click on it with the push pull tool, it doesn't do anything. It says I cannot push pull a curved or smooth surface. Well, you could tell them that if they go to their display and they enable hidden geometry, They'd be able to see all of the individual shapes that make up more complex forms. And then they would be able to push pull those things into different heights and such. You can push it down or you can pull it out. It's cool. Hidden geometry. Good stuff.